So our leader asserting yourself. It's been a fantastic race. And I do think that uh, now up into third place is the New Caledonia initial place setter, Caboret, who uh, did such a brilliant job finishing in podium the other night as well with a big burst. Tarn here, out in the lead. Matakali was trying to chop her down. And for a little while there, it looked like she might be able to get in touch. But this girl has found another rhythm. And she is just easing into completing a 10,000 meter, 5,000 meter double. I think we've lost uh, quite a few of the field. Um, uh, there was a, one of the runners just walked off the track then. It's a very demanding, a very demanding uh, event for a tropical climate. Two Even though laps, the sun's down. Two laps remaining. The sun has slipped over the edge of the Pacific. There's a gentle Pacific breeze keeping everything cool here tonight. But here in the stadium, I tell you what, there's a sense of anticipation. A great champion here with two laps to go before she is crowned the 10,000 meter, 5,000 meter double winner. Metikali so bravely had a bit of a crack at her but the burst just took a little bit too much out of her. But she is settling into a nice rhythm at the moment, and she's going to have to, because I tell you what, a silver medal awaits her if she can just keep this together, and Solomon Islands will be so thrilled. So what fantastic running from this athlete here. And Bob, in terms of Olympic qualifying or Grand Prix points... Oh, forget it. Forget it. Tarn, then. Uh, you, the Chemorita <laughs> is uh, absolutely doing her thing here. She's at work, and she's working extremely yes. hard. Metikali can see, just getting on the back straight behind her. Look. So it's now at least 80 meters that she's been able to put on the great Solomon's champ. The 36-year-old from Solomon's doing her best to try and rise, but uh, this girl hitting a gear to run away from her. It's um, one of the reasons why the distance running here it will find it difficult to go to the Olympics is uh, I'll mention a few things Kenya Ethiopia Uganda that's enough Bob yes the Africans of course are so dominant in distance running very much so. and the standards are so high if we are to pursue them to things like Olympic Games so here is the bell one lap remains and Tarn now just 400 meters from home after completing 9,600 meters. She's a great champ, and she's done herself and Guam proud here. Metikali getting the applause of the crowd as well. They're not going to forget, nor they're going to forget that uh, she's put in a great effort here tonight. Northern Marianas will have a big, big, big party for her tonight. And I'm sure Robin Sapong, the president of Oceania Athletics, will be having a huge smile across his face. Indeed. And, it, and it'll be still there tomorrow and the day after. So the NMI champ here, Tarn, representing the Northern Marianas, brings it home. And I tell you what, up there in Micronesia, they're celebrating a great champ because of whether they're from Guam or from CNMI, I'm sure they're going to claim her as their own. Oh, they will. It'll so, be interesting to see if she participates in the... Um, Micronesian Games next year. Uh, it's a great victory for her. She's looking up at the big screen. She can see exactly what we're seeing here. So all that hard work in North America now paying off in dividends. And she's going to double up those medals. Two of them, in fact. The 5,000 and now this, the 10,000 meters for this great champ from Micronesia. And she's over and she knows it. So now we look down the straightaway as our leader Who celebrates. Who will be following her? And here's the crowd bringing her home. They know that she's lifted substantially, put in a big effort here tonight. But uh, Matikali here done a super run. The 36-year-old being roared home. You'd think she'd won the event. And that's a wonderful silver medal for her. And then a long way back to our bronze medalist. But like she did in the 5,000 meters, our initial pace getter, 
is going to find herself up on the podium again. She's way down at the uh, back end of the straight. Uh, there she is, bringing it home. And uh, she is absolutely tying up. But uh, she's lost her bib numbers, but that doesn't matter. Cabaret here, set the pace early, finished in bronze in the 5,000 and finishes off a super 10. And that is brilliant running for the 40-year-old. Yes, wonderful. She is absolutely gone. She has given everything she has. And there's Tan, CNMI press all over at the moment. She's loving life and full of it. Look at her. She's um, getting some great interviews there in the mix zone. And uh, Tan letting everybody know what a fantastic night this has hurt for her. Mix zone interviews, but you saw it here, of course, live and as it happened. So here's our champ then coming in. Big 10,000 meter, a win for her, a double, the 5,000 as well. Will she go for the half marathon? Relief all over the face. A great win by her. She's got a couple of days to to recover and think about it. So there she is. And uh, it'll be uh, winging its way around the Pacific press. But a wonderful double for Cena Mai. And I tell you what, Cena Mai traveling pretty well on that medal table it's as well at the moment. They certainly are. Well, they've, uh, they've never done particularly well in athletics, but there are so many other sports where they can hold their own spectacularly. I tell you what, we're getting some fantastic messages in here as well from all over the Pacific. And uh, we're hearing that in the Cook Islands, they've been really enjoying the coverage here tonight, Bob. And it's a very good evening to all of you out there. Hope that you're having fun in the Black House at Matavira. And I hear that Steve and the crew really enjoying themselves up there. Hopefully we'll have some great news for the Cook Islands in the next uh, couple of hours with uh, one of their big hopes in the men's 1500 metres, Alex Beddows. But uh, CNMI out in force here, celebrating what has been a very big win tonight. A wonderful win for uh, Micronesia and a wonderful win for CNMI. And uh, CNMI, as some of the runners still finishing off in the 10,000 metres, well, some of them will do 41, 42 minutes. But they're finishing. They are indeed. 